In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this kinetic topography effect in DaVinci Resolve. So first of all, let's create a fusion composition. Head over to your composition and drag a background. Connect your background with the output and then go ahead and drag another background and this time change the color to white and connect the background with this original background that we have and now what you need to do is drag this rectangle connect it with your background and select your rectangle and then go over to the width make sure this is at tall Okay, and now set the height to 0 0.1. I'll go ahead and drag a text and then connect it with your merge one. Now here you can type in any text and change the color to black. So let's go back to the rectangle one and change the angle to 15. And now go back to the text and go over to layout and change the type to path and now you can zoom out and create a path along with your background so for example like this simply go ahead and connect it like this so here you will see that we have our text that will move in along with this path and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, go back to the text and let's also change the tracking to 1.5 or 1.3 so that this is visible. And let's also change the font to something bold. So you can go ahead, select any font. This is up to you. But what you need to do is just make sure that this text path, it aligns with the background accordingly. So once we have that, go back to the layout and right click on position on box. Go to modify with and select anim curves. So you will see that we have this modifiers tab enabled. Go and keep the source at transition, but change the linear to easing. Change this to sign and this to black. Or you can also change this to elastic. This will give you basically easing in effects. So this is up to you. What kind of effect you want, this is up to you. And now change the offset so that this fits in or is visible on our screen. So you can go ahead and align this. So now you can see it is visible. And if you play this now, this is how it will look like. But if you want this text to not leave any white spaces, what you can do is go back to your text over here in the text box. Just simply go ahead and copy this. Add a few spaces and then paste. Again, add a few spaces and then paste. So what this will do is this will give you more text options. So, so this is how it's looking now. But you will see that we have this overlapping of text over here so what we can do is go over here at the end and also add some spaces see if it looks okay but if it doesn't you can also change the tracking but just make sure that you know that this is accordingly aligned so there are some spaces as you can see over here over here and we need some space over here as well. So you can change the tracking now to see that is, is this looking okay? You can see that this is now much better. It is aligning accordingly. And if you play this now, you'll see we get a nice looking animation and now in order to add some more animations all you need to do is just copy this copy both the the rectangle and the background and the text as well and then go ahead and paste it anywhere 
Now you can simply connect the background, the other background with the merge and change the angle of the rectangle over here to let's say 25. Or what you can do is go at minus 25 like this. And now go ahead, connect your text. But this time you will need to set the path again. Or what you can do is go to your text and go over to layout and over here you can change the z-axis so you can change the z-axis according to the other background that we just changed we change the angle of the background so we can now also change the angle of our text so let's go over at 35 minus 35 sorry or let's say go over to minus 40 so i think this is looking Okay, so just make sure that this is aligning with the background that we have. And if you play this now, this is how it will look like. But you will see that over here we have some overlapping of text because if we go and select our text over here, you'll see that this line is causing the problem. But what we can do is just make sure you have your text selected and select this option over here which says modify only and then select this now what you can do is just move this a bit out so now if we play this you can see we have this and there is no overlapping but you can see that there is some overlapping over here which is because we created a keyframe we don't need a keyframe uh, let's go ahead and remove this keyframe for now. Go over at zero. Change this again. And now if we play this. So here you can see we don't have any more overlapping. So just make sure you don't add up any keyframes. All you need to do is just change the angle and the lines, the path lines that we have for the text whenever you are making a new one. So I'm going to make a few more and you can go ahead, follow along, or you can also try and make changes according to how you want. You can also go ahead and change the color of the background and the text as well. That's up to you, but I'm going to keep this at white and black so that this remains simple. So let me quickly show you how this will look. All right, so I have created a few, quite a few of these and one other thing that I want to show you is just to add a bit more depth to our effect, what we can do is we can add a blur. So on any one of these, just go ahead and add a blur. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's say that we go over to, let's say this one, and let's go ahead and add a blur. So I'm going to press Control Shift and search for blur. Let's go ahead, add it. And over here, let's change this to 5. And let's also go over to the text that is over this background. And once again, add a blur. And change this to 5 as well. Change the blur size basically to 5 as well. And let's also go ahead and do it for one more. With this background over here. Let's do it for these two as well. Let's change this to 5. You don't really need to add this over to the background. You can only add it to the text. But if you want to have the background blur as well, you can go ahead and do that for the background as well. So I'm going to do it for both of these, the background as well as the text. So here you will see this is how it looks. So now you can see we have a nice looking depth in our effect. So let's go ahead and play this now.
So this was it. I hope you liked the video. Let me know your feedback in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.